What's going on, people? This is my third uh, video reacting. Um, call it the higher side of reacting. Um, but you guys know what we do here. So, what we got is the uh, Nintendo Indies Direct. Um, I heard about this Direct, say... Two days ago, like this is, I, I didn't hear nothing about it coming down the wire or nothing. So, I mean, I was just expecting something. I, I don't know what to expect, but obviously it's going to be a bunch of independent games. And apparently, from what I'm hearing, people are all in their feelings, feeling some type of way about Nintendo having the indie. Um, theme going on like a lot of people are in their feelings feeling some type of way over uh nintendo being so indie friendly you guys have forgotten playstation was indie friendly in their first year and they still are really indie friendly so before you go jumping on nintendo about that just remember PlayStation was very indie friendly as well. They've been very friendly to the indie scene this generation. So don't be snapping on Nintendo because of that. That don't even make no fucking sense. But anyway, let's jump into this because I I don't know what to expect, but I, I can't wait to watch it. Let's do this. Hey everyone. Kirk Scott with the publisher and developer relations team here at Nintendo of America. Think of me as your friendly neighborhood indie guy. As many of you know... Okay, first of all... What the hell, man? He's really chipper. And second of all, don't be talking about friendly neighborhood nothing. You know you ain't got no Spider-Man game coming up on Nintendo Switch. That don't exist. That's on PlayStation, Pimpin'. Everybody know neighbor, uh, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Don't do that. If you ain't got no uh, Spider-Man game coming, don't make that reference. Not a good look. Let's keep it rolling. No, we like to keep you updated on games you'll be able to play soon. So with summer winding down, it's time to check out some of the great indie games heading to Nintendo Switch. Before we get in too deep, I want to give a shout out to our friends at Nintendo of Europe who just released a video highlighting some of the great indie content in celebration of Gamescom. If you miss it, we'll include a link at the end of this video. Think of this video as part two with even more content that our talented indie partners across the globe are bringing to Nintendo Switch. Okay, let's get into it. First up, set your engines for hyper speed. A world ravaged by its dark and violent past, Hyperlight Drifter is inspired by dreams and nightmares. You play as the Drifter, plagued by oh, mysterious illness, E3? traverse a vast, ruined world wielding forgotten technology only you can use to find a cure. And it looks like we've uncovered some exclusive content for Nintendo Switch. Yeah. Check out this outfit. With this equipped, the Drifter can better locate secrets like gear bit crates and Drifter bones. There are also a couple new weapons, including the Crystal Shot and the Deadly Blade Caster, the reward for completing Tower Climb, which is exclusive for the Nintendo Switch. Mm -hmm. You won't have to wait long to explore the land of buried time. Hyperlight Drifter Special Edition is available for pre-purchase today oh. and launches on September 6th. Damn, I was sitting here thinking I wasn't going to like none of these games. That was the... Okay, Tower Yeah, these 16 bit games are beast in this graphical age. I got to talk to 4 times, so yeah, 16 bit still, still really in the world. Okay, great. 
Towerfall is an archery combat game for up to okay, six players, go. perfect for competitive local play on the Nintendo Switch system. With simple controls, everyone can jump in, but only the fiercest friends can master the advanced mechanics and secure victory. Towerfall includes all the Ascension and Dark World add-on content, and four additional variants have been added, which give you over 90 options to customize your multiplayer. Since Ooh. this game is created by Matt Makes Games, we're pleased to announce a special character, er, characters, that are joining the fray. Madeline and her reflection, Madeline. Together, they form one remarkable heroine in Celeste, but in Towerfall, you can duke it out as either character. Towerfall ascends onto the Nintendo Switch on September 27th and is available for pre-purchase today. Okay, I might get that. I might. Hook shots, long shots, grappling hooks. These are a few of my favorite things. They're useful in grabbing something or someone, and in the case of Treasure Stack, falling blocks. Treasure Stack adds a unique platforming mechanic to the traditional falling block puzzle formula by giving you control of a whimsical cast of heroes who navigate the playing field. Precise platforming and mastery of the grappling hook will separate expert stackers from mediocre slackers. Arrange stacks of light-colored treasure chests and then connect the corresponding key to earn points. And, thanks to cross-platform play, you'll be able to stack online with more friends and foes in versus mode or locally with up to four players. Treasure stack drops onto the Nintendo Switch this winter. We brought up cross-play. Zarvat is a charming arcade game about friendship amongst cubes. In the game's story mode, follow Charcoal and Mustard's adventure through nine worlds as they attempt to cheer up their best friend. Fight evil bananas, dangerously Charcoal frozen milk cartons, and, and make the ultimate birthday present. In versus mode, challenge your friends to some cutthroat cube action in five game modes across over a dozen handcrafted origami thunderdomes. Play with or against your friends crashing through destructible walls and duking it out with missiles and lasers. And exclusively for Nintendo Switch, play as Joybot, an enemy spawner controlled with a single Joy-Con. Use tilt controls to move Joybot around the map, challenging other players to take you down. Zarbot launches first on Nintendo Switch this October. Mm. Have you heard? Mineko's Night Market is coming to consoles first on Nintendo Switch. Dude, it's anime, like cartoon even. I like that. Did they just have to just dig up a fucking cat? I'll buy it just off of that. <laughs> In my senses, look at her. What the, what does she do? What you do, man? Am I six out looking for a woman blowing suits, man? What did you do? It was, it's real cutesy. Sometimes these are fun games and they just be cute. Okay. Don't tell my dog this, but late at night, I've been thinking about raising cats, racing cats, and most incriminating of all, petting cats. And thanks to Mineko's Night Market coming first to Nintendo Switch, I can do all that and more. You play as Mineko, a curious girl who oh just arrived God. at her new home on a Japanese-inspired island at the base of Mount Fugu. Really, my boy? Mineko's Night Market boasts over 20 hours of story-based gameplay, including four regions to explore, diverse villagers to meet, I, I quests to undertake, it. and activities like sewing and woodworking to keep I you keep busy and in business at the weekly night market. And most importantly, there are cats. Lots of cats. My favorite is a mythical cat named Abe that the locals worship. Well, they believe he's a myth. Maneko's Night Market is open for business in early 2019. Why, that joke just killed me. A princess, a that. golem, 
a samurai knight, and a homeless girl all play a part in rewriting the fate of Gun City forever. In Samurai Gun 2, play alone or with a friend in an all new adventure mode. Explore a medieval metropolis on the brink of crisis and discover the mystery behind Gun City's ghostly threat. A mad emperor pushes to expand the city at a ridiculous pace. An epidemic of gunpowder overdoses is on the rise, and old spirits are creeping back into the world. Take a break from Gun City and battle with a group of up to four friends in a classic versus mode. Now with improved controls, new levels, and new characters. Armed with a sword, a gun, and three bullets per this life, like a... hone your reflexes to dodge an impending yeah, doom and send your opponent's yeah, heads yeah. rolling. You can also enjoy Trigger Soul, the samurai gun graphic novel by French comic artist Valentin Sech, with smooth touch controls exclusively for the Nintendo Switch version. Samurai Gun 2 will release in early 2019. Don't talk to strangers is a rule we learn as children, but after nuclear fallout, some precautions go out the window. In Bullet Age, take on the role of Ash and a mysterious stranger on a quest to save New Haven after Evil Ark's mutagen blast changes it forever. Bullet Age is a co-op action game with an intuitive mix of sword and gun combat, challenging platforming, and a charming cartoon art style. Explore a world spanning multiple continents, upgrade your weapons with unique bullet types, and learn new abilities to help you survive the decimated wasteland. And thanks to HD Rumble, you can feel your attacks and combos gaining strength and locate hidden secrets. Just like bullet Age launches as a console exclusive for Nintendo Switch this bullet November. Age. Oh, it's half bought. Well, it looks like The World Next Door is a story-driven game that follows June, a rebellious teen girl trapped in a parallel world inhabited by magical creatures. You will meet and develop friendships with an eclectic cast of characters by means of a reputation system, which features branching dialogue based on your choices. This looks like it could be an Advance the story by Marvelous. defeating your opponents in fast-paced, okay, real-time puzzle battles by activating runes to cast spells. There will also be a local 1v1 versus mode where you can face off in puzzle battles. You can unlock new levels and characters to play as in the story mode. Drop by the world next door in early 2019. Mm. Do you have a head for level building? Well, then level head is perfect for you. Butter Scotch. Level head. Run, puzzle, jump, kick, poke, and shrug. Cross trillions of levels handcrafted by players just like you. Build the level of your dreams and other people's nightmares. Level Heads Maker is so slick it'll make you fall. In love. Then warm up your glutes and grab up to all three of your friends for some couch co-op action. And if your buddies are into building too, then dive into the Maker this with a favorite warm Hungry for fame and maker. glory? Then place the final block in your level and publish it to the level hub where other players can play it and follow you. But what is a following? Oh, what is life? Without the joy of creation. Is Level Head a game about building and sharing love? Or is life just a game about building and sharing love? Well, I don't know. Just make some levels and quit being weird about it. Level Head. Make fun. Now get out of my way. I got things to be. Level up your creative skills when Level Head releases this November. Hold on to your hat, because in this next game, losing it may cost your life. Crush your friend's hats before they crush yours in King of the Hat a fast-paced, hat-based party game. Matches are short and action-packed, perfect to play on the couch or on the go. Your friends can quickly join the fun thanks to simple two-button controls. And you can play with up to four players locally or become king in ranked online multiplayer. Choose from over 15 characters with unique backstories, like Birthday, whose birthday is every day, Fat Cat, a money-loving business villain, and my favorite, Washing Machine, Who's tired of being filled with fat cats' dirty loads of laundry? Oh. King of the Hat heads out in early 2019. Mm -hmm. And no, I'm not buying that. Okay, I'm no biologist, but I'm pretty sure geese are at the top of the food chain. Untitled Goose Game is a genre all its own. Part stealth, part sandbox, and all goose simulator. The focus is on the slapstick humor as you play the role of the horrible goose. Your goal should you choose to accept it, is to ruin everyone's day in town. 
take on challenges like having a picnic, stealing hats, and generally causing chaos in the lives of the townsfolk. The goose is loose in early 2019. Want some more games to add to your wish list? Let's take a sneak peek at some of the other exciting indie games coming to Nintendo Switch later this year. Please stop. Slice of the awesome indie content you can play on Nintendo Switch in the months ahead. To keep tabs on it all, we've got your back with a news flash. If you're hungry for indie updates, we're launching a new channel on your Nintendo Switch system dedicated specifically to indie games. Get the latest announcements, in-depth Q&As, developer stories, and more. And indie games are all about innovation, so expect the unexpected as well. The indie channel is live today. So head to Find Channels in the News app and subscribe. From all of us at Nintendo, we would like to thank our talented indie game developers for bringing their content to Nintendo Switch. And thanks to all of you for tuning in today and supporting indie games. Hold on. It seems we have one more announcement before we go. Ladies and gentlemen, okay, it wasn't that bad. I mean, obviously it wasn't that good, but it wasn't the worst thing ever. Hmm. Overall, it showed a few games that I hadn't heard of and I'd never played. I know a lot of other people might have. I haven't. I didn't get that big into the indie scene um, last generation or while I only had a PS4. I just got the ones that I really liked that looked good. And those were far and few between because PlayStation doesn't have something like this. So I didn't know there was those type of games. So if I'm getting them on Switch, it's the first time I'm playing them. So feel what I'm saying? But I'm not mad at that. Stop being mad at shit that don't matter, bruh. If you like indie titles, this was for you. If you don't like indie titles, bruh, please shut the fuck up. There's plenty of, excuse me, big third-party games coming out. Pardon me, coming out. We got Super Smash Bros. for that big ultimate first-party blowout for the end of the year. We got Dragon Ball Fighters. Comes out next month. Triple A fucking third party support. Um, the games I'm looking forward to anyway. Those are the two that I know of. Because I'm looking forward to them. Sorry I don't know any others. Because I don't really care about anything other than those. And anything released by Nicholas. But it is what it is. Alright guys. This has been a higher side reaction. Deuces.